What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Blue Phoenix, and I'm back with another message for us. I hope this message finds you well, my love, and as always, if you are not feeling well now, it's my intention that you will be by the end of this message, all right? Oh, we're doing a love reading, and love came out. That's so sweet. Don't forget to tap that like button for your girl. Show your girl some love. <laughs> That also helps me tap further into your energy for future readings, Pisces, especially for future readings. All right, so come on in, my loves. Welcome back home to your home planet, all right? Spirit, we gonna tap in with you and see what's going on with Pisces and their person, all right? So, Pisces, we have a few cards out already on pre-shuffle. We have, for the new to be born, the old must fall away, all right? For the new to be born, the old must fall away. You have Jasper here, all right? Okay, um, it says help with manifestations, balancing of energy, um, energies of excess, like addictions, OD, OCD behaviors. It also helps with grounding and stability. So these could be some things either you or your person is dealing with right now, okay? You also have old school and clock on the cut, right? old school says outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head something is unorganized uh, that's not the word okay cluttered or so like okay somebody might okay an l sign could be significant somebody could be like really overthinking something here okay so somebody needs to get out their head put the energy where it go right because i'm talking about you and your person so I could say you and it could really be a person. I could be saying your person and it could be you. So put the energy where it goes. Use your discernment and your intuition. All right. Pick up what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. The parts that don't resonate. Okay. All right. And the clock says needs time, takes time, um, time to heal and progressing. So it looks like there is a, a real love here, right? It says unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction and selflessness. Okay. Okay. All right. It's something about, okay, so not being selfish as well. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, over here, we have the seven of swords, right? So seven of swords is usually a very like sneaky, underhanded. You see what he's doing? He's stealing. You know what I'm saying? And he being sneaky. He trying to tiptoe. This nigga gonna cut himself. Look how he got them damn swords. Then he think he getting away with it. Okay. So I don't know. We're going to pick up on it. A Leo could be significant. All right, and then you got the four of wands with the magician and the lovers. A whole lot of yellow and the wheel of fortune. Wow, look at all this yellow, y'all. Okay, all right. So lots of joy and happiness, okay? Real talk, let's get into it. All right, you got Leo and heavy Gemini out here. All right. Scorpio. Aquarius, Leo, we said that, and Taurus, all right, all right, spirit, so what's going on with Pisces and that person, what energy is coming towards them, spirit, what's going on, all right, you got gambling here, all right, so there could be some form of risk somebody needs to take here in this relationship. For some of y'all, it could be trust. All right, some about trust here. All right, it's some about old patterns falling away though. All right, I'm telling you, listen. I'm telling you, listen, Mercury retrograde, this old shit, right? With old school and this here is something about some old mindset, way of thinking, uh, action or something here is, is supposed to be falling away, all right? okay or is falling away okay it's something about being patient with this though okay all right yeah look on that it even says a perception some about the way you're looking at something or the way someone is looking at something something about a new perspective or perception all right what's going on with pisces and that person spirit all right a earth sign could be significant taurus virgo capricorn manifest come through okay tell the universe exactly what you want and in pregnancy someone is expecting 
and water sign okay earth sign with a water sign all right put the energies where they go now pisces all right all right a pregnancy could be significant but this is giving me very much magician empress energy if y'all haven't watched our last video i really don't know which video gonna go up first but one of our one of our most recent um messages the empress and the magician came up right so it's something about presenting your request to god right praying about something or whatever and then releasing that shit and letting it go and receiving the answers to your prayers right with the manifest this is like the magician and the pregnancy is like the empress card you understand what i'm saying so what can pisces expect from that person's spirit I re oh fuck what are we doing someone is in the middle someone trying to sabotage this third party what the fuck what can pisces expect from their person maybe that was a hold up a hiccup patience patience and clock oh some of you guys could have lost the baby okay with this coughing and pregnancy here okay all right tragic endings reborn and transition new beginnings right because with every death gotta come a new beginning it's just another another form in another form okay all right and then you got grounded and earth sign out here it's something about somebody making more healthy choices all right somebody's person could have like addictions right addiction it's something about this person receiving a wake-up call i'm telling you now this person could be a gemini or gemini could be in your birth chart or their birth chart or something like that okay but it's something about this person has two sides okay right now this person may be in this side it's something about some form of old thinking or something here either you or this person is mindset it's so, okay it's something about a mindset being changed shit you could be praying for this person's mindset to be changed you got the death in the coffin keep praying because the shit is about to happen real talk be patient with this shit i'm telling you get them time continue to pray for this person and it's y'all put the energy where it go for because I, I was just hearing something about family here so this might not even be love for somebody this might be a love like a love one that you praying for or something Oh my God. For some of y'all, this is your child that you praying for. Oh, uh, some about a twin as well. A brother, a sister, something like that. A sibling. Put the energy where it goes, Pisces. Okay. Some about a past over loved one as well. This sibling or this person that you praying for could have stabbed you in the back. They could have, okay. Or something could have occurred where it was some sort of like deceit deception or hurt in this relationship this connection here this could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn okay oh lord lots of messages okay <laughs> okay <laughs> What can Pisces expect from this person's spirit? Okay. Oh, Lord, seduction on the bottom of the deck. This person, it's something about you being patient here. Or somebody needing to be patient. Somebody's being woke up, Pisces. Somebody about to come to the realization of something here. Right? You got one, two, three, four. Right? It says the time has come for you to reap the rewards of all your hard work. You're on the right track. And then 10 10 after that it says signifies a time of personal development spiritual awakening and enlightenment keep your thoughts focus and intentions on your soul mission and life purpose and your elevated vibrations will attract abundance and positive energies in your life it's something here about you pisces not overthinking something okay continue to pray for this situation for you and your person for this person for you whoever this person is in your life okay for some of y'all it is a loved one like a brother sister child whoever but for some of you guys this is a love like the lovers right okay you also have sextile here all right it's something about a birth chart when i get these okay these astro major cards 
okay? It's something like, if not just a birth chart, like the wheel, wheel of fortune, literally, okay? It's right here, though. Birth chart is like literally right there, okay? <laughs> All right? But sextile is um, a placement in a birth chart, right? That represents cooperation, um, collaboration, and positive harmony. Six is the number of harmony, okay? All right, so it's something here about working with this person, okay? And something being more collaborative, like you guys working something out together. Look, y'all know that you don't have to do this alone, right? You praying, you sending up your request for this person, you want this thing to work out, you want whatever it is, harmony, balance, and whatever in this relationship, right? Know that your angels are helping you here, right? You presented your request, they finna help you carry them hoes out. I'm telling you, tell the universe, your angels, God, whatever it is that you want, manifest that shit. That's what's happening. But you gotta be patient with this shit. Now, I am not telling anybody out there to stay with nobody that's doing them wrong or being abusive or anything like that, all right? Know your worth. Don't put up with no bullshit. You understand me? Period. I don't give a fuck. And remember that tarot is not definite. We have free will. These are possibilities and probabilities. Tarot is. I don't care who the reader is. You understand what I'm saying? So don't ever take a tarot reading as that's what it is. That's all she wrote. No, you got free will. All right, we always have a choice. But yeah, you got patience in the clock here. <sighs> Somebody's waking up. Somebody's getting clarity here. You got 24, what that break down to? The number six, more harmony. Y'all, what's nine plus seven? That's 16. Yeah, that's what you gonna call it in the tarot. Hold on. Tell me about this day clarity spirit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, all right? Some of you guys could start a business with this person or help this person start a business or something. All right, something about somebody's career here, but I'm telling you, look, somebody is getting clarity. All right, it's something about hope here and faith as well, Pisces, okay, all right? But you got, a cancer could be significant. All right, you got progress, more freaking harmony. I kid you not movement trust right and on here you got hope hope and trust like faith okay loyalty duality assistance okay animal instincts and friendship on the clarity card you got day clarity or day gas dawn okay all right so the, the top of the morning top of the morning to you that's what i just heard <laughs> okay day clarity hope awakening consciousness and new cycles all right all right what can Pisces expect from this, this, their person? Oh, look at all them birds. Oh, look at all them birds. Good morning, birds. Happy new day. What can Pisces expect from their person? It's something about somebody taking a risk here. Oh, shit. I didn't even see the caution card right here. What this is? Well, Pisces needs to find out more information about it. <laughs> What's the caution card about spirit? A Libra could be significant, all right? All right, and a Scorpio. Libra and Scorpio, you have death and um, justice here. Give me a minute. It's like something's behind that purple veil. And the death is like endings, but you can have the death, the coffin, and now death out here again. Very much transformational energy, scorpionic energy, okay? Very masculine energy as well is what I heard. Or not just masculine, but like powerful energy or like strong energy or something. What's the caution card about spirit? For Pisces and their person. You got the Ace of Cups, 
the Ten of Wands, and the King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be significant. All right. The Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands right here with the death still on the bottom of the deck. It's something here about not getting overwhelmed by somebody else's emotions, whether put the injury where it comes. It's like a mind over a head over heart or something here. What's this about spirit? The head over heart and everything. What is this? Oh shit. More Scorpio. Scorpio Scorpio could be very, very significant here. You got the tower. Ride with me, Pisces. It's going to all come out. And then the Ace of Wands with, okay, you might get a new perspective about, or you might gain a new perspective. I'm telling you, clarity about something here, okay? All right? About a new beginning. What's the head over heart with the new beginning and all of this? What's this? For Pisces and a person spirit. Come on, Trudy. Come on, girl. The hermit with the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. And, and the fucking death card has come back out. What is ending here, spirit? What's ending between Pisces and a person? Somebody's definitely gaining some sort of like new way of looking at something. All right. You and this person might, might, I don't know, need some time alone, like by yourself or something like that to gain this new perspective or something. Okay. You got the will of fortune and the damn devil on the bottom of the deck, uh, Pisces. Somebody could really have like some like gambling issues, like uh, overspending, splurging, drugs, alcohol, some kind of like lower lower level energy, right? That they could be trying to break away from here. All right, with the devil. Okay, you see that chain? What they chain to spirit? What's this person trying to break away from? Open your heart. Damn. Oh, shit. For some of y'all, a third party could be significant. And if not, like, a sexual, I don't know, though. Because you got seduction here. Still on the bottom of the deck looking at me now, okay? All right? But it could be something here because the pets card is here with divorce. Somebody could, like, somebody could have literally gotten in the middle here. Whether this is another lover or a friend, family member. Okay, so just please put the energy where it go. You could be thinking about opening up your heart to this person. Right? Okay? This could be you, this hermit, a Virgo, a Capricorn could be significant. Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, all the other signs I didn't say it now. Pisces, your energy is I was out here earlier too with the hangman. Hey what does Pisces need to be cautious about here with them? Somebody's still trying to figure themselves out. Bless them. I don't know if y'all saw that. Okay. Someone still figuring themselves out. Bless them. What does Pisces need to be cautious about then, spirit? Somebody got some kind of like addictions or something here now or something that might be causing them to not have like a clear mind or something. Okay. I don't know, Pisces. This could be you, water sign, or Pisces, or another Pisces, Scorpio, or cancer could be significant. Okay. Come on, spirit. Let's wrap this up. You girl got to go log in for work. <laughs> But yeah, it's something about somebody not seeing. But it's some sort. Okay, listen, put the energy where it go. This ain't going to be everybody reading. But for some of y'all, there's some sort of hope and positivity here. 
of turning this wheel for y'all. I don't know. Something's going to be revealed, though. Something is not seen here. Something is not seen here. This could even be you trying to tell or them trying to tell you, right? Wherever this energy go, let it flow or whatever. But like somebody not seeing somebody else's side here. Like somebody not something. Oh, shit. The five of swords with the moon. Give me a second. What's the five of swords in the moon spirit? What is this that's not seen? The five of swords is like a person being one-sided, very much about themselves, you know what I'm saying? Winning at any cost, even if it, it comes at the cost of hurting those that they love the most. You know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 empty victory, right? You got the nine of wands here. More secrets though, but something's about to come out. This might make you contemplate about some shit. What is this five of swords with the moon for Pisces and a person? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Death backstabbing and not enough. <sighs> Lord and girl with a snake. All right. You might have to set up some sort of like healthy boundaries with this person. Damn, death says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Backstabbing, heartbreaking pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, and shock and attack. And then not enough. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, and frustrations. That shit look demonic as fuck. What that damn whatchamacallit at? This shit look like this. The fuck? I don't like that Pisces. Something about Halloween too. Somebody's birthday could be on Halloween or something like that. Or somebody could be born in October. Or like, okay, Scorpio season or something. Okay. It's something about Scorpio season here. Okay, a cancer could be significant. All right, who else we have out here? Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Lots of water here. This is, this is, I feel like, I don't, it's something about a lot of emotions here. Lots of water here. And here go that fucking someone else car and someone being too full of them damn self. Damn. A third party could really be significant for some of you guys, all right? And like I said, for some of y'all, it could be somebody's mom in the middle, like, okay? All right? Or even a sister or something. It could be like a, a age difference or a size difference or something here, Okay? If you like the third party part, okay, for those that resonate with that part, okay. All right, hold on, let's clear the board. All right, once again, Spirit, what can Pisces expect from this person in the very near future, please? The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, intuitively. The butterfly. Evolving and growth. Next phase. Healing the inner child and releasing the past. Patience. For those of y'all that wanted to work. And for everybody that be getting in the comment section talking about you don't want to hear about the past. My ninja. Click off the damn video. Some people do. Okay. Sorry if you don't want to hear about a past. The past could be two hours ago my ninja. Put the energy where it goes. That's why a lot of readers do not comment back in comment sections because people literally be out, like, come on. We just telling y'all what the hell we getting messages about. All right. Sorry for y'all that have not complained, but shit. A ninja get tired of that shit. Like, I understand. Hell, I don't want to tap into some of these energies either. Shit. Give me a like just for me tapping into these hoes. The fuck? Shit. If you didn't want to deal with they ass, what make you think I want to dig in they energy? fuck <laughs> shit i'm just trying to be an obedient servant of the lord thank you for those of you guys that appreciate it i do appreciate you back <laughs> shit like damn i just came to spread love and then just in the comment section acting spirit oh <laughs> union and marriage soul connection everlasting love and devotion 
It's uh, somebody. It's some about. Okay, you had the fool earlier, right? Taking a risk, taking a chance. I was just about to ask Spirit before wedding rings came out. Spirit, what can Pisces expect from this person? You got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck, and then the Justice is right up under that. Okay, this was all placed intuitively back in this damn in this deck. Okay, but then you have the wedding rings and poker face. It's something here about time, taking a risk and a chance, trust, hope, faith, positivity, and optimism. Right, focusing on the things you do want, not on the things you do not. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Watching, looking, stalking, they always doing that. It don't matter, right? Y'all ain't gonna do that for the place, so it's collective, you know what I'm saying? It's just that effect we have on people, you know? <laughs> yeah, all right, but social media could be significant. All right, last card, uh, Spirit. What can Pisces expect from that person in the very near future, please? Damn. celebration partying okay time with friends having fun living in the moment okay and then cupid's arrow is on the bottom of the deck have faith love is coming surprise invitation and struck by love all right all right pisces i love you so much i hope this reading met you where it needed to i hope that you feel wonderful and awesome as those are my intentions okay <laughs> i love you all so very much i'm so thankful for you huge shouts out to the vip citizens and the planeteers of our planet vip city those are the people with the badges by their names in the comment section vips do not forget to make sure your notifications are turned all the way up my ninjas we will be having our live reading very soon. We do it once a month, usually towards the end of the month. We all meet together as VIP citizens and we tap in with spirit. Everybody that shows up <laughs> gets to ask a question. It's like a mini reading, you know what I'm saying? We tap in, we get the answers. We see uh, what needs to be implemented for your desires to come into fruition, whatever it is that you want to know. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure your notifications are on. If you're not a VIP citizen yet of your home planet, what you doing? It's $5 a month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. We meet up once a month. We get together. Um, and other, we also have uh, member messages and things like that. But y'all can find out more information by looking down below in the description box and click in the join button um the planeteers is i want to say like three dollars a month thank you to all the planeteers out there you guys keep the the planet turning baby on its axis you understand what i'm saying y'all keep the lights on the water running and um yeah you keep my spirits uplifted i love you all so very much i'll talk to y'all down below in the comments or in the next video bye pisces